Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're in the Eastern Cape and yeah, just north of Port Elizabeth alongside Addo National Park and I've got a very cool species of snake. This is the first time I've ever seen this species of snake myself. There are quite a common species that are found throughout uh, Africa from East Africa down into South Africa and Central Africa. This is the Cape or common wolf snake. There are three other subspecies apart from the nomiate species but here we have a beautiful little wolf snake and it's such a cool little species. Now these guys don't get much bigger than this. They range from around 40 centimeters and really, really large ones up to about 60 centimeters in length. They're really, really calm, very relaxed snakes. Very, very seldomly bite, if ever. They will musk once they get picked up. They might emit a foul smelling odor from their cloaca. But you can see here, it's a super relaxed snake. He's tongue flicking, he's super calm, he's super relaxed. He doesn't feel threatened at all. Now, they're called wolf snakes because they've got enlarged top and lower teeth to be able to catch their favorite prey, which is skinks and small lacerids and things like that. A lot of people think that they prey quite a lot on uh, geckos, considering they're nocturnal. But geckos are also nocturnal, so geckos are active at night, cruising around, and geckos can be quite fast. So it's a little bit more difficult for the slightly slower moving snake to be able to catch a gecko. So what they do is, as you can see, it's got this really flattened, almost non-distinct from its neck head, and it's super flat so that it can get into the crevices and cracks of rocks and get to skinks and lacerids and small lizards that are sleeping at night. There's very few recorded cases of them feeding on geckos, only in certain areas in the free state where certain species of Pachydactylus uh, also lives in the termite mounds that these guys live in. Now these guys are completely nocturnal, so they won't be found out during the day. They'll be come out at night. They're terrestrial species, so they'll cruise around on the floor looking for some prey items. And if they find the scent trail of a lizard or a little skink that's sleeping, it'll get under the rock, be able to wedge itself in there, get those long little teeth into that prey item, and then pull it out from under the rock crevice. So a beautifully adapted little snake. They are completely harmless. They are constrictors. So once they get hold of their prey items, they'll grab it usually behind the neck if possible, and then they'll throw a couple loops around and constrict it until it passes out. Now, they vary quite a lot in color from like jet purpley blacks to a light brown to a darker brown like you see here. And then they've got usually a creamy to brown yellowy underbody uh, with sometimes occasional blotching, which this one has as well. You can see it's got like irregular little patterns on its underbelly. And then very, very often they've got this speckling that kind of edges every little scale, this white little speckles that runs along the sides of the scales here. Uh, even on the top of their head has the same little, little speckling on the head which is really really beautiful and these tiny little eyes so an amazing little species of snake super well adapted they prefer moist environments although they are very widespread we are in a semi-arid region but uh, this area is quite coastal so receives quite a bit of fog and mist in the evenings and early mornings which it will be able to collect in form of in forms of dew droplets and things like that absent from the extreme dry areas of the country in the western cape but will be found in coastal areas in the western cape As you can see tongue flicking in snakes indicates that they're calm and relaxed so i'm very happy that this snake as you can see is is not feeling threatened at all uh, if they do feel threatened these snakes tend to flatten their bodies out and can sometimes make a bit of a spastic movement but you can see that this guy is super super relaxed now the only issue with these guys is it's a little black snake 
with very little definition between its head and neck. Now there is a bit more definition in a wolf snake compared to the snake that's going to cause you troubles and that's the stiletto snakes. Now stiletto snakes are extremely venomous. It's not a deadly venom but it's an extremely horrible bite. Uh, a bite from a stiletto will leave you rather disfigured um, and they have these perfectly long recurved fangs that they're able to stab backwards so a snake you can't actually pick up safely so very often people will think it's a little wolf snake or maybe a brown house snake or something they pick up the stiletto snake and jab jab and off you go to hospital in excruciating pain i heard it's an extremely painful bite so really not something to be picking up so if you don't know your snakes and it's a black little thing with a very undefined head from neck rather leave it alone so on that note guys i hope you enjoyed this episode and this video hope you learned something and remember to stand for what we stand on <laughs>